Hey everybody, welcome to The Lodge Kitchen. I'm Chef Chris and today we're gonna be making chicken parmesan for our very first recipe of the month. So cook along with us. To make chicken parmesan, you gotta have chicken. And to do chicken parmesan justice, we're gonna teach you how to butterfly it. Uh, we're gonna start with a wet rag. You always wanna start with a wet rag before you put your cutting board down. Um, and what that's gonna do is make sure that, that cutting board doesn't slip around. Another thing that we're gonna need is parchment paper, and then we're gonna need something to hit it with. So we're gonna take our chicken breast, we're just gonna lay it on our cutting board, and we're gonna take a long chef's knife. Um, I like to use a long chef's knife. Uh, it, it helps me um, guide my knife um, through the chicken. Uh, it also keeps an even cut. So what I'm gonna do is parallel to the chicken. I'm going to just make a slice and I'm not gonna go all the way through. Now I'm just gonna open that chicken breast a little bit more. See, it just opens like a book. All right, now we're gonna have a beautiful piece of chicken to work with. We're now gonna put parchment paper over the top of our chicken breast um, and we're gonna pound it thin. But what we're really trying to do is just get a uniform uh, thickness on our chicken. And what that's gonna do is help it cook in the pan a lot more evenly. It's also gonna tenderize the chicken. So one of the reasons I like to use parchment paper for this um, is I can just turn that out um, and our chicken breast is ready for the next step. Now we're gonna work on our dredge. We have panko breadcrumbs, got a cup of panko. We're gonna also do uh, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I like to get in here uh, and work it around with my fingers. It's just a little easier using a whisk or a fork. This is all purpose flour. Um, this is just gonna give something for our egg wash to bind to. I'm going to just crack one egg in a bowl, give that a quick whisk. We've got our flour. Uh, we have our egg and we have our panko and our uh, parmesan. And our chicken is gonna go straight into the flour. Now we're gonna shake off this excess. Just trying to get something for that egg to bind to. We're gonna lay that in our egg mixture. We're really gonna get the flavor um, from this parmesan and the panko breadcrumbs. So giving that just a light press, flip it over and then I'm gonna give it a nice sprinkle on the top just to evenly coat. I'm gonna put this on a wire rack because I don't want that chicken, that breading to get soggy. Set our cutting board down and now we're gonna mince some garlic. I'm just gonna peel off some of this garlic. Anytime a recipe calls for garlic, I like to like quadruple it. So you use as much garlic as, uh, as your heart desires. All right, so here's my tip for this. You can smash garlic to get the, the peel off. I, I just like to give it a twist and you can peel that skin right off. It's super easy. One thing I love about minced garlic, um, you put minced garlic in a hot pan with oil. Uh, everybody comes in and says, oh, whatever you're doing in that kitchen, keep doing it. And you're like, I haven't really started yet. We're gonna take our garlic one clove at a time and give it a nice pop. Okay, we're gonna scoop that to the side and we'll finish up with these. What's this gonna do? Crush our garlic and make it a lot easier for us to mince. We're gonna run our knife through it a few times. Beautiful, uniformly shaped, ready to get popped in some hot oil. All right, so now we just gotta get our 12 inch cast iron skillet nice and hot um, over the burner. Turn on the heat. We're gonna put that on medium low. So while that's heating, I'm gonna add some olive oil. The nice thing I, uh, about this recipe, it's a one pan recipe, so there's not a whole lot of cleanup. We got a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm gonna add that olive oil to the skillet, and I'll teach you a pretty cool little trick to see that your oil is hot enough. Uh, you can tell it's too hot if it starts to smoke. We don't wanna get it smoking. If it does, feel free to turn it down, move it off the burner. I'm going to open up this can of fire roasted tomatoes. I'm using fire roasted tomatoes in this dish I think it just adds you know, a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna have some oregano, about a teaspoon of oregano. Uh, and then we'll have a teaspoon of 
uh, basil. And there's gonna be some fresh basil that we're gonna garnish with at the end. This is just to help build our sauce. Now our skillet looking nice and shimmery. It's not smoking yet. We can add a toothpick to the skillet. And you can see that toothpick bubbles um, and that's how I know that my skillet is to the right temperature. We know we're ready to rock and roll. To this, we are going to add our chicken. And that's just gonna set right in there nicely. You can hear that sizzle. Um, you know that the pan is nice and hot. And what that's gonna do is just set for four or five minutes to the side. Um, and we're gonna watch for browning around the edge of the pan. Um, and you'll, you'll be able to kind of tell. It's okay if you wanna give it a peek every now and again, but I would definitely wait until you can see some browning around the edges. So we're just gonna let that hang out in the pan. Our chicken is in the pan doing all the awesome things. That nice cast iron skillet is doing an amazing job. Now look at that even brownness, um, just super delicious, nice, beautiful crust on our chicken. That's gonna go three or four more minutes, um, but it's almost gonna cook through, but it's gonna finish cooking in our 350 degree oven. All right, so I'm gonna lower our heat. Um, now we're on as low as that burner will go. Um, I'm gonna take our clean um, cooling rack. We're just gonna take our chicken out and rest it right there. We're gonna build our pan sauce. So we've got our olive oil, we've got everything we need in that skillet right now from an oil perspective. Um, and we've got a ton of garlic over here. Remember, folks, how much I like garlic. I'm gonna add that in. Um, and this process is not gonna take very long. All right, we're gonna go like one minute. To that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of chili flake. Um, this is going to uh, really um, flavor that oil nicely. I'm gonna give this a little turn with our fish spatula. Love a fish spatula, folks. Fish spatula is an extension of my soul, as is a cast iron skillet. Our garlic is nice and is browning very nicely, super fragrant. Our skillet's not too hot. Um, let that go for just another second before we're gonna add our tomatoes. Uh, garlic's just looking beautiful. I'm addicted to that sizzle, folks, every single time. All right, so um, we've got our garlic and our fire roasted tomatoes. To that, I'm gonna add our basil and our oregano. Um, and now we're just gonna give this a little turn. I may turn the skillet up just a hair, um, cause that, that, uh, that garlic has, has done its job. And we wanna get this to a nice simmer. Um, so we're gonna pop this heat up just a bit. Another thing um, that a lot of recipes call for are crushing the tomatoes in the skillet. I love to use a fish spatula for that. If you've ever chased a tomato around with a wooden spoon, it's kind of miserable, it can make a mess. Fish spatula does a really good job at crushing those tomatoes, making it a uniform sauce. All right, so while I'm crushing these tomatoes up, this is a dish that cooks really quickly. Um, a lot of people are afraid to use uh, highly acidic foods in a cast iron skillet. Um, I'm here to tell you it's a-okay. We're not gonna do a Sunday sauce that's gonna cook and simmer for a day. This comes together so quickly um, that it's not gonna affect the, the beautiful seasoning on your black lock skillet or your, or your large cast iron skillet. All right, so our sauce is coming up to a simmer. Um, I'm gonna add that cup of, uh, of water straight in there, get that all incorporated. And what that's gonna do, now we're gonna build um, this sauce into a no-bake pasta. We're gonna add our cascatelli, uh, give that a nice turn, um, and we're gonna coat that really nicely, just give it a press. Cascatelli is so cool. Um, it, uh, the, the shape of the cascatelli pasta, it's a new pasta shape. Uh, it's toothsome, it holds on to pasta sauces really well. Since we're not boiling our noodles, um, all of that pasta water um, and that sauce is absorbing into our cascatelli or our noodle, and that's just gonna flavor it even more. Our pasta has come up to a boil. I'm gonna reduce that down to a simmer, um, and all we're gonna do at this point is add our beautiful chicken right to the top. I'm gonna spoon a little bit of our sauce over the chicken, um, but I don't wanna cover too much of the chicken smoothing that sauce out right on the top of the chicken, leaving exposed pieces of chicken so that they can get nice and crispy. Here's the fun part, folks. I like to add a good amount of cheese, a healthy amount of cheese, if you will. Um, my wife would say an unhealthy amount of cheese. Is she not here right now? Oh my God! A little bit of Parmesan over the top. 
say a little bit. That's a little bit in my house. All right, now this is gonna fly into our 350 degree oven. It's gonna go about 20 minutes. Um, that cheese is gonna be all nice and bubbly and the pasta can be cooked through. Okay, so our chicken parmesan's been in the oven for 20 minutes. We're gonna pull it out. Nice golden brown on that cheese. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna grab some fresh basil. Just tear off a few leaves of basil. This is a beautiful one pan dish. Like I said, comes together super quickly. Uh, is absolutely delicious. I think it's time for us to dig in. Now I'm just going to give it a cut down the middle, serve myself um, a healthy portion of this absolutely gorgeous, beautiful and decadent one pan chicken parmesan with cascatelli noodles. Um, give myself a little bit more of these noodles because why not? Hit that with more basil and I like the crunchy cheese um, along with uh, the breading perfectly done noodle um, give it a nice little cool down and try it out they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really hot. fine all right, everybody, this is our one pan chicken parmesan. Um, it's our recipe of the month. We encourage you guys to make it at home. Please tag us on social, and we can't wait to see your cooking creations. See you next time.